Hey, super feds. I'm finally going to do it. For the past two years, people have been asking me, hey, Sam, how did you manage to work part-time for the federal government? And I've never told people the steps I took to get a part-time position in the federal government. So today, I'm going to share with you the exact email I sent my boss to ask to go part-time. Let's dive in. So this email comes to me from one of my email subscribers. I send an email out every Wednesday that um, has some tips for federal employment. And um, I get a lot of replies. And this one says, uh, hi, happy new year. I'm interested in part-time work and read your post on the topic. My question is, how did you change your position to part-time? How did you start the process? What are the key steps in converting? I'd appreciate any guidance you can provide. All right, so I figured the easiest way to talk about this would be to share the email that I sent that started this whole process. Subject potential to transition to part-time. Hi. I'm just a couple weeks away from my 20th anniversary. I love my job. I feel like I've been able to produce a lot of impactful research, and I honestly think I have the best job in the world. At the same time, I feel like I have a lot to contribute to this world outside of paid work. This past year has been an extreme challenge to balance parenting and work. Even at the end of the pandemic, I would love to spend more time parenting and exploring other interests in my life. I understand this is an unusual request and it affects research capacity. At the same time, I know the budget is tight and this could potentially generate savings in an account that could benefit us. I'd be happy to discuss this with you further if it's something you'd be willing to consider, even on a trial basis. Ideally, I'd like to work somewhere between 0.6 and 0.8 FTE. In either case, thanks for considering my request. Sincerely, Sam. That's the email I sent, and um, let's like break it down. So in my mind, I did three things. The first thing I did was I established my value. I said, hey, I've worked here a long time and I've done a lot of great stuff. Um, so the first thing they're thinking of is like, okay, yeah, Sam, he, he's valuable to us. And then I asked for what I wanted and I tried to keep it really brief, but stick to the facts about what I wanted. And then the third thing I did was I tried to address any concerns management might have and tried to get out in front of any concerns they might have. And then said like, let's get together and talk about it. I was very lucky, it worked for me. I'm not saying it's gonna work for you. I think there's a lot of positions in the federal government that wouldn't naturally translate to part-time or might be more difficult to work part-time or maybe your office just would never allow that. But um, if you don't ask for what you want, uh, you're not gonna get it. And so I was like, I didn't wanna share that for a long time because I was like, well, what if people try that and it doesn't work and then they're really angry. So I can't control your office or how your supervisor is gonna react, but I can just kinda, of, thought it'd be good to share the like three things I did um, to ask to go part-time and it worked. So what do you think? How would you have done it differently? Or maybe you've made a crazy ask um, in your job and it went really well. Um, if you have any feedback on that, like drop it in the comments and then other federal employees can like learn from the comments as well. And if you have a question you want me to answer in one of these videos, you can put that um, in a comment as well, and um, I'll try and get to it in a future week. That's it for this week. If you want to keep watching today, I created this awesome playlist for you that has lots of other tips for federal employees, kind of federal employee guides. And uh, otherwise, I'll see you next week when in, we're all one week closer to our minimum retirement ages. So take care, super feds. See you next week.